Here we go! What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Swartz. In this video, I'm gonna be addressing family day and graduation day for Army Basic Training for you and your trainees. If you don't already know, family day and graduation day since COVID came here has been canceled until further notice for obvious safety reasons. This video is going to serve as a warning to trainees who are about to go to Army Basic Training. So I'm asking you to do me a huge favor, share this video with a soldier who's about to go to basic training soon because if the soldier decides to do what I discussed in this video, they will be facing possible UCMJ punishment, which is Uniform Code of Military Justice, AKA military law. They do not want to ruin their career before actually getting it fully started. Comment down below your thoughts and feelings. How does that make you feel that you cannot be a part of that historical and tradition of meeting up with your soldier on family day or basic training graduation? So with that said, let's get to the bottom of this and it starts right now. What's up everybody, welcome back to Team Swartz and if this is your first time here and you are looking to get ready for Army Basic Training or to learn more about the recruiting process of getting into the Army or specifically the Army National Guard, I post a ton of Army Basic Training tips, recruiting and other Army related videos. So if that's what you're into, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon and turning on all notifications so you don't miss anything. I'm Joe Sergeant Swartz, your local New York Army National Guard virtual recruiter with the New York National Guard. With that being said, I am a part-time Joe Sergeant with our respective National Guard Recruit Sustainment Program located in New York City. So if you happen to live in New York and you want to learn more about the National Guard, you can contact me at this number here on the screen and I'd be more than happy to help you out. You can start now by shooting me a text, BOSS, to get started today. All right, so let's get right down to it. Pre-COVID, it is a tradition, it is the highlight of your soldier's military career to meet up with them on family day and to attend their awesome, phenomenal, memorable graduation day. Unfortunately, COVID had other plans. Since COVID hit, as you may or may not know, all family days and graduation days have been canceled until further notice. Moms, spouses, and family members are frustrated, annoyed, and upset that they cannot be part of this historical moment for your family member. Even the trainees are highly upset and we're looking forward to celebrating this moment with their family and close ones. I get it, I feel you, I hear you, and I empathize with you. Even I had to deal with this myself when I graduated from the United States Army Joe Sergeant Academy. <laughs> Gotta love that. I too could not have family members attend my ceremony. I had to virtually do it on live on Facebook, which you will have to do as well. So we are all suffering together. It is the Army's utmost importance of safety and accountability of all of our soldiers and equipment. The United States Army has been working hard and is dedicated in monitoring and always adjusting to the COVID-19 restrictions and working around ways to try and give our soldiers the total basic training experience as much as possible that makes sense while making sure our soldiers and trainees are safe in the process. So the United States Army has been dedicated to preventing and mitigating the spread of COVID-19 among the ranks and the training facilities. Despite how you feel, they are doing everything they possibly can to make sure that your trainee, your soldier, finishes their training in a timely fashion as much as possible, which is why they created the yellow phase. So unless they catch COVID and go into self-quarantine or isolation for two weeks, basic training in of itself is 10 weeks plus the five days at the reception battalion when they receive you when you first get there. So unfortunately, family day and a normal graduation day where family and guests can come and visit is canceled until it is safe to do so. So we have a growing problem at the training sites because trainees are coordinating with family members to meet up and link up to, you know, share a moment with them outside of the training environment. So family day has been replaced with a soldier day, the day prior to graduation. On soldier day, it gives them a day pass to go anywhere they want on post. They are not authorized to meet up with anyone outside of the training environment. So they are restricted to post and restricted to certain areas of post that they can go and visit. With that being said, some of these soldiers, these trainees, 
are taking it upon themselves to coordinate and meet up with family members, either on post or off post, or meet them off post and bring them onto post. What that does is it's putting everyone at risk at the training site, and then when they graduate the next day and move on to their next duty station to conduct their advanced individual training, they are con uh, they're risking in spreading COVID to over 66 other training installations once they get there. And this goes against trade out guidelines, regulations, policies, and such. The trainee is not supposed to be physically meeting up with anyone outside of the training environment. Trainees, unfortunately, are restricted to unauthorized visits like this to prevent the spread and contraction of COVID-19. Fort Jackson, to my knowledge, is the first installation to publicly announce on the 24th of August of 2020 that if a trainee is caught in violation of these such policies, regulations, and guidelines of these unauthorized visits, will face possible UCMJ punishment. Because this goes against general order number two. I will read it to you in a second, at least a portion of it, because I don't want to bore you reading the whole thing. Also, anyone who enters the installation also has to adhere to the same policies, regulations, and guidelines that Fort Jackson has put forth. The Fort Jackson Commanding General publicly posted this on the 24th of August, and I'm gonna read just a small portion of it that pertains to your trainee and what they could be facing if caught in violation of General Order Number 2 of Fort Jackson. Again, like I said, Fort Jackson publicly announced it. Other posts have probably done so as well. And if they haven't, they will follow suit soon because it trickles like wildfire just like that. So feel free to read that once you're done watching this video. You can read the whole thing, but I'm gonna read the highlights of what the commanding general of Fort Jackson had to say about this particular subject on family day, uh, AKA soldier day and uh, graduation day. And they're referencing trainees who are linking up with family members and or friends on those days. This behavior must stop immediately. Family Day and Graduation Day events have been closed to the public since the effects of COVID-19 pandemic reached South Carolina at Fort Jackson. Family Day activities and basic combat training graduations are a privilege for visitors, not a right. A privilege, not a right. Fort Jackson has followed a rigorous assessment process that has detailed testing procedures to mitigate the spread of the disease on post. Once the soldiers report to basic combat training, they immediately enter a safe training bubble for the next 10 plus weeks. This bubble has proven successful in basic combat training, advanced individual training, and the drill sergeant academy training, which I experienced myself. For basic training alone, Fort Jackson has successfully shipped over 15,000 soldiers since March without a single positive COVID-19 case reported among our soldiers at the gaining installations. So there are over 66 training installations that our soldiers could go to. Any soldier who links up or who assists another to link up with family members or another unauthorized guests in violation of general order number two and is subject to punishment under the Uniform Code of Military Justice or UCMJ for short. Anyone entering the installation is subject to all Fort Jackson policies, regulations, including the general order number two. Now this is specific to Fort Jackson. That was coming from the commanding general of Fort Jackson from his words onto Facebook. And I'm reading them to you. Again, you can read everything that he posted within that post on Facebook. Shoot, even like their page and follow them if your soldier is definitely going there. So read it for yourself and be in the know. Bottom line is, as much as you want to meet with your soldier and your soldier wants to meet with you, do not risk it. It is not worth it. I promise you. I promise you. Do not do it. Do not put your soldier or your trainee in a position where they're going to get punished by the military for meeting up with you. It is not worth it. Do not ruin your career before you're even able to get it fully started. When they were doing this Facebook Live session the other day and the... Um, the, the two-star general and the, and the CSM, the command sergeant major of the post, were discussing uh, family day and graduation because you know people were asking during that live session. I could see the pain and the frustration coming from the moms that were on there making statements. Like, I get it. You miss your son, your daughter. I get it. But mom, it's going to be okay, all right? They're going to be okay. You will see them again, yes. 
you know, it, it's annoying and it's frustrating not to be able to partake on that historical tradition of meeting up with them on family day and graduation, but you're still gonna see them. They're gonna move on and move on to bigger and better things and to become a United States soldier. Do not be selfish and naive, okay? We are doing this for everyone's safety, for safety. So I don't know how to put it any other way. So don't be selfish. The army is doing everything within its power to control everything so that everyone can continue training and moving on so that they can graduate on time and move on to bigger and better things. If you meet up with your son or daughter and you're asymptomatic, you don't even know you have it, they contract it, they give it to everyone, spread it to everyone else, they go to the AIT site, and now they're spreading it from there. Now everyone else is gonna have to get self-quarantined for a minimum of 14 days because you wanted to be selfish and to go meet your son or daughter. I get it, you're frustrated. Just don't do it, don't be selfish. When it's feasible and it makes sense and ultimately safe, to bring back family day or graduation day, trust me, we will do it. This isn't the time to be selfish and complacent. This isn't forever. This just means not now. So with that said, let's all of us do our part together. You've been warned, don't get caught. Don't do it. Help me spread this warning across all social media platforms because I don't want our soldiers to get in trouble by doing this mistake. With that being said, you be strong because we are gonna do our part to make sure that they become army strong. Thank you so much for watching this video, sharing this video, and if I don't see you in the comments down below, I'll see you in the next video. That's it, video's over, sorry. Um, but you can definitely watch more. You can check out this video here, or maybe you can check out this video here. Um, but you know what, actually, this video is pretty good. You, you should definitely watch this one. But actually, this one seems pretty great. You should definitely check out this video, but actually, why don't you watch them both? Try clicking the 